We've all heard of yoga, but what about hot yoga? It involves people performing stretches and various yoga positions while under extremely hot temperatures. Why is it so hot in here? For safety, a class will last no longer than 90 minutes. But how would your body react if you did it for an extended period of time? Like 24 hours? Would you become incredibly flexible by the time these 24 hours are up? On today's challenge, we're going to find out. This is your body on hot yoga for 24 hours straight. Hot yoga, I'm down. Hot yoga is a style of yoga performed in a room maintained between 27 and 38 degrees Celsius. Sessions can include different stretches and holding poses. Classes are generally 60 to 90 minutes long. This is usually considered a low impact and low risk workout. So would a prolonged exercise like this ultimately be a good thing for your body? Let's first inhale, exhale, and find out. Now, who is ready for the yoga? Okay, you've been alternating poses for 15 minutes now. Due to the sweltering heat, you start to sweat and your heart rate goes up, but you realize it's not too bad. You're feeling about the same exertion as you would with a brisk walk. That's the reason why you start to breathe harder than when doing yoga at a lower temperature. Within one hour, you'll feel like you've improved your flexibility. That's because the heat increases your blood flow, allowing you to stretch further than you usually do. But if you're sweating and not drinking enough water, your body won't have enough fluids to carry out its normal functions. You'll feel dehydrated and start to feel a headache coming on, so you better grab your water bottle if you want any shot of finishing this challenge. 90 minutes into this challenge, this is usually where you'd end your hot yoga session. The health benefits would be huge. You could proudly say you've burned between 300 to 500 calories. That means if you had a cheeseburger and a glass of Coke before this hot yoga session, you would have burnt off the entire meal. Hmm, these benefits sound pretty good. Maybe we should keep going then. A three-hour exercise under constant heat could loosen your muscles. While stretching, you could feel intense stabbing pain. This most likely means that you've overstretched. To help minimize the swelling, you would wrap and elevate the injured area while applying an ice pack. You should also probably rest up to avoid any further injuries. But come on, you're a warrior, right? You've been stretching and performing hundreds of downward dogs for 10 hours now. You're incredibly tired and your muscles are in excruciating pain. And above all that, you are experiencing heat exhaustion. Being in a room that's over 30 degrees Celsius for this long would mean nothing but bad things for you. Regardless of how much water you're drinking, your body would have difficulty producing enough sweat to cool itself off. Your skin would be pale, you would be feeling weaker and more nauseous by the minute. So what happens when we go for a bit longer? Because of the prolonged exposure to high temperatures, combined with the exertion of performing yoga, you could suffer from heat stroke. Your body will overheat and you'll have a fever of 39.4 degrees Celsius or higher. Your heart rate will then go up and you'll be finding it more difficult to breathe. And then your skin will turn red. You'll likely pass out from the exhaustion and heat. No matter how flexible you might get within these 24 hours, practicing hot yoga for this long wouldn't be worth it. Not only would it damage your muscles, but also your heart, kidneys, and brain. Ah, my kidney! And if you did last this long, you'd be lucky. 
What's more likely is you ending up in an ambulance long before your 24 hours are up. If you do want to practice hot yoga safely, you'd be better off with one session a day maximum while making sure to stay hydrated. Okay, now I need to cool down. What about training your body to withstand freezing temperatures? Think you can handle it? Well, we'll see what that challenge brings on another episode of Your Body On. <laughs>